Are you ready for this? She got this at a thrift store for $35, and she took a best offer of $750. How incredible is that? Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to share with you Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I am going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are members of my Bolo Buddies channel, and I'm going to share with you the items that they sourced and sold for big money or items that are maybe a little bit unexpected that didn't sell for as much money, but you should definitely pick up if you see it. All right, we are going to get started here. And the first person that I am going to share with you about is Abigail's Artful Abode. And her, I just love this uh, banner. Is that not so pretty? Love it. Anyway, she has an amazing YouTube channel and she thrifts totally different things from me, but I have heard her say, I picked this up because I heard about it on Bolo Buddies and she's tinkering around with some different stuff. So we are definitely both learning from each other, which is super cool and uh, definitely subscribe to her channel, but I'm going to show you some things she sold on Etsy. The first item she sold are these 1800s antique. They're, um, black uh, floral silk embroidered slippers. How incredible are these? Wow. From the 1800s. I mean, how on earth? I always wonder how people date things like that. Like I do not have um, that special way of figuring things out like that. I'm just like, it's antique or it's vintage. And I usually just go with vintage to be safe. But she got these at a summer market for $10 and sold them for $85 plus shipping. The next item, I love this one also, is a vintage pre-1945. So again, she's really good at dating things. She's good at antique and vintage stuff. You guys are going to learn so much from her. Um, she has a storefront and everything. Just incredible. So it's a bingo calling cage and numbers with Bakelite handle and wood balls. So this is Bakelite right here and the balls are wood. Very, very cool. And she picked this up at a garage sale for $20 and sold it for $125 on Etsy. The next item are a pair of two vintage mid-century modern Japan heavy cast metal Asian, ooh, Jishas? Jihas? I'm not sure how to say that. G-E-I-S-H-A-S. -S. Sorry, guys. Bookends. These are bookends. And she got these at a garage sale for $5 and sold them for $88 on Etsy. Got junk in our trunk. Love, love, love this new, newer, I guess it's not new, series she's doing. It's called Why Did I Buy It? And she picks a category and then she talks to you guys about why she bought it. Um, Rhonda has a huge background in uh, estates. She used to do estate sales. So she is super, super knowledgeable. Check out her what sold videos. I just love it because she does a lot of bread and butter like me. And but some of her un bread and butter is so unexpected. And I just love it. So you guys will definitely dig the things she sells. All right, she sold this solitary game. It's from 2004. It is a handheld electronic game by Radica. Radica is a great brand to look for. This one's sealed in the box, so that's gonna make it worth more money, but these will also sell if they are not new. So be on the lookout, even for the pre-owned ones, they make a good bread and butter. And if you can find a harder to find one, you can still get decent money for those. This one she got at a thrift store for $2.92 and sold it for $124.99 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this vintage Miss Noah plush toy, Nelsie and Elf Christmas stuffed doll. It's 16 inch and it is signed. So let's take a look at these photos here and see what signed means. Okay, it's still got the original tag on it and it is signed right there. That's very cool. Um, she got this at, it says, uh, freebie. Does that say freebie? Can't read my writing. And yeah, she sold this for $93.59. That is awesome. 
Wow. Look, does it even have a face? Where's its eyes? Oh, oh, they might be hiding under there. How cute is that? Would you guys have picked it up? And would you have thought that it would have gone for almost $100? Or would you have walked right past it? Let me know in the comments. The next item, um, she actually did a let's or why did I buy it on this? And it's the Reed posters. And she picked a whole bunch of these up at a Friends of the Library sale for 25 cents each. This one is Orlando Bloom, and it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Definitely go check out that video for more information. Vintage Christmas ornaments, lions, glow in the dark, silvered surface. And these came from a yard sale. She paid 25 cents for these, and she took a best offer of $60 plus shipping. So there you have it. Ray Nathan RZ09. No YouTube channel. This is her eBay store. And you can check it out down below. I will have all the YouTube channels. All of the eBay stores will be linked down in the description. You can go and follow all of the eBay stores by clicking on the heart. Let me show you that. Um, they all have a heart that says save seller and you can click on that and then you will get notifications like if they create coupons or if they uh, put something on sale or add new items and um, you'll get to see their bolos because these people are bolo finders and also the YouTube channels are linked below. So definitely follow them. All right. She sold this African-American Santa Christmas figure cream gold by Dandy. And here is some other shots of it and maybe if I click on it it'll blow it up more it's kind of cut off huh wonder if that's because uh, I don't know okay but anyway now I forget what she sold it for was it $39 I think $39 and she got this at TJ Maxx for $8.99 plus shipping this is a uh, Disney store is it Lilo or Lilo and Stitch uh, stitch plush stuffed doll PJ pajamas with slippers. How cute is this? Oh my goodness. It's a cute little stuffed animal. It's called jammy stitch. So it's really great when they put it on the tag for you, right? She got this one at a thrift store for $2 and 99 cents and sold it for 59 99 plus shipping. The night before Christmas pop-up book Hallmark, and it says African American. So I am going to look at the pictures here. I think I just saw where someone else sold this sealed and it went for over $100. I think it was one of my members when I was looking through their eBay store. Or they had it listed. I can't remember. But anyway, this one sold for $47. And she picked this up at the Goodwill for $0.99. Cents. Let's see. Yeah, pages flip down and reveal a pop-up Christmas scene. Great collectible. All right, we got P&W Flips, and she talks about Google Lens in her latest two videos. So if you want to know more about Google Lens, you can go check out part one and part two of that. And she sold this Holiday Santa Claus Head Face Christmas Cookie Jar. And, you know, right now, Christmas items, you want to be listing them. They are selling. Uh, she got this at the Goodwill for $5, took a best offer of $42 plus shipping. And speaking of Santa, doesn't this look like a little Santa hat? But it's made by Carhartt. How fun is that? And it's got the little pom-pom on the top and it's a beanie. Those are great words to put in your title if you find something like this. She did have free shipping on it. So this is more of a bread and butter. And she got this at a thrift store for $2 and sold it for $29.99. This one I just thought was interesting because she got this at a grocery store clearance and she paid $2 each for these and she sold them for $25.45 each with free shipping, but she sold three of them. How fun is that, right? I don't know. Just one of those retail arbitrage things, okay? Okay. All right, we got the, the Rebel reseller. And if you are not subscribed to Rebel, you definitely got to go check her out because her and her husband, Robert, I will tell you, they will they will get you laughing uh, during their videos. So go check them out. She's getting really close to 7,000 subscribers. So go and sub her up. She specializes in plush, but as you're going to see from her What Sold video, she is really, or I should say they are really starting to branch out into other categories as well. So you will definitely learn a lot from them. 
Uh, speaking of the Department 56, this is the White House building. And I believe her husband picked this up at a garage sale. Uh, I'm sorry, an estate sale for $10 or $20. She couldn't remember, but it sold for $98.96 plus shipping. This one right here is this Metallic House Village, a lot of three sequin Bombay Company. And this is what they look like. How cute are those? Let me know. Um, have you ever seen anything like this? Would you have picked them up? Would you have guessed that they are so valuable? I want to see that sticker on the bottom. There it is. That's what it looks like. Retail 12 bucks, five bucks, 12 bucks. Don't you love it when things just increase in value with age? Uh, estate sale, $3. Took a best offer of 70 on those. This guy, I just love it. It's just a bread and butter, but come on. Would you have expected this to go for so much money? It's a Subway PD Pickle pullback action car from 1991, and it still works. And let's see, where did this come from? A garage sale, $1, and sold it for $26.95 plus shipping. The next item, um, I had to pull this one because uh, she had a post in her Facebook group, which... Um, if you type in Facebook, the rebel reseller, it'll pull up her group. I can't remember the exact name of her group. I just search rebel. Um, and rebel, the rebel reseller is her YouTube channel, but it's also, her name is actually rebel you guys. So, um, that's where she got her YouTube name from. And she sold this and she told her husband, Honey, it's time to ship this. Could you imagine? I'm sure he was thrilled to ship this. It's all breakables, all these little pieces. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like these are things that I don't buy because I don't want to ship them. Uh, the little village, let's see. Or I guess it's a train. She picked this up for $12, sold it for $48. And also had um, a house that came with it. And the house sold for uh, $68. So $12 for the whole lot. But uh, yeah, he got to ship that. I'd like to know, Robert, if you're watching, how did the shipping go? How long did it take you? Let me know if you guys avoid things like that because you don't want to ship them. All right, flipping hot finds. Oh my goodness, she is a bolo finder. And um, she sources about 70% of her items from YouTube auctions is what she said. And she finds some really fantastic stuff. So let's start with her first bolo here. It is a Department 56 in the city um, flat iron building. Are you ready for this? She got this at a thrift store for $35. And she took a best offer of $750. How incredible is that? And I love her first photo because she's showing all the angles. She's showing it has a box. She's showing it with a light, without a light. Um, really a great first photo, in my opinion. $750. Wow. Okay. The Christmas story or a Christmas story. This is the leg lamp. It's a replica. It's new in the box. And this one she got off the curb. Somebody threw it on the curb. It's like brand new in the box. I mean, come on. Who does that? They just threw it to the side and she sold this for $45.99 plus shipping. This here is a, another word that I cannot say. H-A-L-C-Y-O-N. Halcyon? Halcon? Ah, I always think I'm going to nail it and I don't. Halcyon? That's what we're going to go with. Days. Disney Rare Trinket Box. Three cheers for poo. Limited, signed, and numbered. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. So right here is that word that I can't say. And it looks like it is numbered and it's got all this great information on it. So definitely an easy item to research if you find it. And she got this for 20 bucks at a thrift store and sold it for $149.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from Be Carried Away, and she is definitely a bolo finder. She does a lot of vintage clothing, and I always say how good she is with keywords and describing the clothing. So if you guys struggle in that area, I know that's an area I struggle in with how to describe clothing, especially vintage clothing. Definitely check out her channel. She's been taking a little break, but she's coming back soon, so be sure to subscribe. Right here, she sold this MCM teak wood tray. It's a palm leaf. 
hand carved dish serving tray and it says monkey pod. So a lot of times she has a lot of keywords that I don't even know what they mean, but um, she does a lot of research and all of her descriptions are super detailed. So if you want to learn, check out her videos. Um, she got this at the Salvation Army for $3.99 and sold it for $59 on Poshmark. This is a vintage Austrian Loden Army Green Wool Olive Trench Coat Corduroy Buckle Trim Size Medium. See what I mean? Like all the words, they're just incredible. She sold this for $99. She got this at the Salvation Army for 99 cents. So 99 cents into $99. I mean, talk about some great margins, right? This one here is a vintage blonde tan women's leather coat jacket from the 70s. And here is what the tag looks like. You got some inside buttons. So lots of really good pictures to show you the item. I mean, look at her, um, look at her description. I mean, she's just incredible. Salvation Army, $5.99, sold it for $98. Carrie will tell you she is a long tail seller. I am also a long tail seller. I list it and I forget it and it sells. Eventually everything sells. Um, I don't pull my inventory and donate it. Um, I just leave everything listed. Now, I'm sure that that is going to vary for every person depending on how much space they have and, you know, what works for them. Some people don't want a big store. I just, I'm like, if I took the time to list it, it's going to sit there. The right buyer will come along. So this took her two years to sell, but she's, six dollars into 98 so to me worth the wait right it was what probably hanging in a closet just waiting to sell simply savvy deals and here is their ebay store and these monster high dolls see how they're missing their arms they will still sell okay so if you see them you can part them out you can sell the heads monster high brats all those dolls you can part them out okay Stay tuned. I'm going to have a video on that in the future. All right. Simply Savvy Deals on eBay. And this is what they sold. Charlotte Mason Original Homeschooling Series Volume 1 through 6 Pink Covers Complete. Uh, these came from Facebook Marketplace. A dollar is what they paid for these. And they sold for $62.99 best offer. So anything homeschooling can be a big money bolo. It can also be a great bread and butter. Red Dead Redemption. So it looks like it is an official game guide book. That's interesting. Definitely would have walked right past it. And that is why I do this. This is from the Goodwill, $3.99 and sold it for $50. And you can see right here, it shows the different, um, it's a game guide. All right. The next item they sold are these spring made spring made two pillowcases. They are vintage. If you guys see vintage pillowcases, vintage um, linens, sheets, different things like that, definitely consider picking them up. A lot of times they're going to be bread and butter, but sometimes they can go for big bucks. They got this at an estate sale for a dollar and they sold it for $20 plus shipping. The next item comes from Thrift and Style 1156, and here is her eBay store. And again, all of these are linked down below if anybody's looking to do some Christmas shopping. And she sold this Needlepoint Samplers book by Marsha Van Valen, 1998, Early Architecture. And this is... Um, doesn't say where she got it, but she paid a dollar for it and took a best offer of $50 dollars for this. The next item is this auto sock wheel covers, um, tire cover, new in the package, one set of two socks. So I don't know what a tire sock is, but I kind of want to know, like, are they, do they go over your tires? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments if you know, because she got this at the Salvation Army for four $4 and sold it for $119.97. So I am not going to forget wheel socks or wheel covers. This is a monogram Super Fortress aircraft model kit. Lucky 11. 11. L-E-V-E-N. Not 11. 11. Hmm, interesting. It's an airplane model kit. And she got this at the Goodwill for $8 and sold it for $120 plus shipping. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Free shipping on that one. Janie's Jewelry Boutique and Plus Clothing. Janie Marie 310 is her store. She is a newer member. So um, if you guys are following all of the eBay stores that I share, head on down and definitely follow her down there. And here are some of the items that she has listed. Lots of great items. I see lots of stuff that I would definitely be selling. All right. This one is pretty incredible. This is a countdown clock. And she said there was a big lots store that was going out of business and she got this for $8. And um, I thought I wrote down what they, I, I want to say they took a best offer of 250 Sorry, I can't remember. I think they told me after the fact and I forgot to write it down. So that's my fault. But they do have a video that shows how it works. And this is definitely a big money bolo. They said they researched it and couldn't find another one like it. So indoor, outdoor. This here is a women's plus size 2X leather mini dress underwire cup. And it's got the tag still attached. And I will tell you, that thing is fancy. Um, church thrift store. That does not look like it would come from a church thrift store. But anyway, $5 on that is what they paid. And they sold it for $150 plus shipping. Rock and Revival boot cut jeans, uh, church thrift store, $2 and sold them for 115 plus shipping. And they actually auctioned these. So if you're not familiar with this brand, it looks like they are still a uh, big money bolo because an auction means people were bidding on this item, driving up the price. 1966 vintage Mattel Barbie London tour outfit. When you find these vintage Barbie clothes, if they're the older ones with the black tags and the or the white tag with the black writing, they will have an item number. If you can find that item number and use it in your title, it's definitely going to help you sell the item. It looks like this is complete or near complete with all these little accessories. I'm surprised it didn't go for more. Sold for $68.66 uh, with free shipping on that one. She got a Barbie lot for $25 and has pennies in this. The next one comes from auctions for you. And um, what I do is I just go into her store and pick three items. She doesn't list as much on um, eBay anymore because her and Donatella Bottolino do live auctions on their YouTube channels and they go back and forth on each other's channels and they sell to resellers. So they uh, buy at wholesale prices and then they sell to resellers so that we can still make a profit. And if you guys watch my channel, I've got lots of unboxings of things that I've bought from them. Highly recommend their channels. I've been, man, I would say it's probably going on over three years I've been going to their auctions. So um, definitely recommend them. I will link them down in the description if you're looking for inventory. And auctions for you, her husband does a lot of the eBay stuff. He helps her out over there. But there for a while, um, she was bringing um, Irving Rice. Uh, these are mirrors. And I know she sold a ton of these at her YouTube auctions. And she was selling them at a price where people could still make a profit. But it looks like she still is selling some in her store. I'm not sure how she spaces out her inventory. or I mean, they just have so much great stuff. But anyway, she has sold two of these for $79.99 plus shipping, and she still has one left if anyone is interested. This is a Corgi. I think it's Corgi or Corgi or Corgi. I think it's Corgi. Heineken Lager Beer. It's a truck. It's a model truck here. And again, she picked up a huge, I'm thinking this probably came from her toy bundle from 1998 and she sold this for $99.99 plus shipping and the one toy buyout she did she just did huge buy it now it's like okay I'm going to give you this many items and this is the price and then she shipped the items out so some of those items didn't even come to her YouTube auction she just wholesaled them out to people because it was such a huge buy so be on the lookout for deals like that as well this is a Waterford Crystal Lamore, Lismore, I'm sorry, Lismore covered butter dish made in Germany. And again, I don't know where she got it, but it sold for $159.99 plus shipping. So they buy storage units. Um, they buy from estates. 
just all kinds of places they source. Um, so definitely check out their channels. Vintage Booth Pro. So she sells on multiple platforms, but she has geared her channel more towards teaching you how to sell in a booth. So if you want to learn how to have a booth, definitely go and check her out. But she is also um, sells on multiple platforms. Okay. So here's what she sold. She sold these Suzy Zoo acid-free stickers, three sets of these. If you guys don't know, uh, stickers can definitely be an incredible bolo. Some of them go for hundreds of dollars. Many of them are bread and butter. I think this one's right there in the middle, $38. Actually, let me see. I'm sorry. She took a best offer of 27 on these and paid a dollar each. So her cost of goods is $3 and the buyer paid shipping on that. This is a Wood World Handcrafted Old Santa Norway 8-inch figurine Christmas. It is vintage. Let me see if I can get you a bottom looky. Maybe there's no markings on it. She's got the tape measure. That's exactly what I do. Um, I think it's really important to definitely put measurements. Then there's no question. Uh, Goodwill, $3. Sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. The next item, uh, she took a really low offer on these. Um, Aurora Monster Die Cut Set from the 80s. I have not heard of Aurora. Um, I've heard of Aurora Stuffed Animals, but never uh, for the die cuts. So let me know, has anybody heard of these? I have done really well with some die cuts. Some of them can go for crazy big money. This just may be a brand that's not as popular. She said that um, she priced them high just to see if she could you know, maybe get an offer on them, but, uh, ended up taking a best offer of $25. She picked these up at the Goodwill for three bucks, but she said after looking at worth point and really studying the comps, she felt like $25 was fair and went ahead and took the offer. If you guys are not using worth worth point, it is an awesome tool. Um, it has made me so much more money on my items because there's things that I can't research on eBay that I can research on worth point. And because of that, I sell my items for more. So it definitely pays for itself. I do have a referral link down in the description. If you guys want to check that out, you can look at the, the pricing. There's different levels that you can uh, sign up for. Like one level, you can learn about like the different marks on the bottoms and of like pottery and I think jewelry and stuff like that. I don't have that. Um, I just have the one where I can look up comps. So you'll have to figure out what works best for you. It's kind of pricey. I held off on it on a lot for a long time. And now I wish I would have gotten it sooner because I've realized how much money it's made me. And I do have videos um, on worth point. If you guys want to see how I've made more money using it, because I like to show you guys why the product is working for me and why I think it's worth it. If I'm going to recommend that you get it. <laughs> so um, and it's not for everyone. Uh, like somebody who does clothing, I'm not sure if Worth Point would be beneficial or not um, because I've never really researched clothing because I don't sell clothing anymore. Um, at least I don't. I still sell it because I still have stuff listed in my store from when I did sell it, but I don't actively search for it. So if you are a clothing reseller and you use Worth Point, let me know down in the comments. I'd be curious to know that. Maybe vintage clothing? I don't know. All right. I love this one. It's a Sun Arrow, My Neighbor, Totoro, Big Totoro, Gray Plush, made in Japan. She got this at the Goodwill for a dollar and one cent, and she sold it for $52.50 plus shipping. And the last item, I just thought this was kind of interesting. It's a Coca-Cola ice pick. Things go better with Coke, wood handle, nine inch long, plus the box. She got this at an online auction for $1 and she sold this for $30.21 best offer. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Again, these are members of my Bolo Buddies channel. That means they have joined memberships to be featured in this video. There is a join button right over here. If you don't see it, that's because sometimes it doesn't show up. And I do have it linked down in my link tree and there's also a separate link down below. If you're interested in joining memberships to be in a video like this, it is level two. Um, no pressure at all. It's just if you want to have um, your bolo featured. So you can also have your bolo featured for free if you go over to my Facebook Bolo Buddies group. So you won't get a shout out, but I'll feature your bolo. Um, so definitely join my Facebook group. It's linked down below. Just go to the featured announcement section and look for the share post. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Leave me an owl emoji or just write the word hoot. Thanks for watching.
Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is a featured members video where I am going to share with you a bunch of bolos. What's a bolo? A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can buy low and sell high or for a nice profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness it's got too much going on all right um i'll just start it 